Hi, as part of the AQA Astrophysics module, you're going to be expected to learn how to draw a few different ray diagrams of telescopes and of how lenses can make different types of images. When you're preparing for the exam, it's important to make sure that you bring with you at least one, but preferably two, sharp pencils. You will be expected to draw at least one diagram in the exam, so make sure you're fully prepared. I'd also make sure you bring a proper full length ruler and a rubber as well in case you make any mistakes. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a diagram of an astronomical telescope in normal adjustment. You will usually be asked to draw this with three non-axial rays, which means three rays which are not parallel to the principal axis. With any ray diagram, the first thing you're going to do is to draw the principal axis. So we'll just start off in the middle of the section that you've been given for the, uh, for the diagram by drawing a reasonable length line across your space. This is your principal axis. There's no real need to label this in your exam question. We're now going to draw both lenses. You want to draw these a good distance apart, so at either end of your principal axis, and you want to make sure that these are perpendicular to that principal axis. So make sure your ruler is at right angles to the line you've just drawn. You could draw these as oval shaped lenses, but it's much easier to draw them with a symbol like this, with these hats on like that. So I've drawn two converging lenses at either end. At this end, I've got my eyepiece lens, And at this end, I've got my objective lens. The next and really important thing to do is make sure we label the common principal foci of both lenses. Because this telescope is in normal adjustment, both the objective lens and the eyepiece lens are arranged so that their focal points are in the same position. This is known as the principal foci. And the question will usually specifically ask you to label this on your diagram. It's really important as well to make sure that the focal length of the eyepiece lens is considerably shorter than the focal length of the objective lens. This is standard in astronomical telescopes and helps make sure that the telescope provides a suitable level of magnification. I'm going to put my principal focus over here. I'm going to make sure it's clearly marked onto my principal axis and I'm going to label it as well. So it's the focal length of the objective, FO, and it's also the principal focal length of the eyepiece, FE. Clearly marked. The examiner will be able to see that straight away. The next important thing to do is start drawing through the rays. So the question will also ask you to draw them as non-axial rays. So those are rays which are not parallel to this principal focus. It doesn't matter what angle you choose. If your angle is too steep, you're going to run out of space in your paper. If it's too shallow, they may look parallel to your principal axis. So let's put something in the middle like this. Now, if it doesn't meet your prince, uh, your eyepiece lens, that's not too much of a problem. You can always extend it uh, up or down on your diagram, but I'm going to just make sure it hits my eyepiece lens there. You can also make sure that this ray passes through the middle of my objective lens. So this ray here, I'm just going to draw straight through the center of the objective lens, straight through to the eyepiece lens there, completely undeviated. That is a completely straight line. A lot of students lose marks on this question because they have the ray here refracting through this objective lens and changing direction. This is one of our standard rays, so it continues in a completely straight, undeviated line. I'm just going to mark a couple of arrows on there just to show that it's moving in that direction. The next thing we can do is we can mark on what's called a construction line. So I'm going to dash a couple of lines here, moving up from my principal foci to meet my uh, to meet my first ray. And this is the place where the intermediate image would be formed. But I'm also now going to draw a line passing through the center of my eyepiece lens that will meet this point. And again, I'm just going to dash this. 
and this is called a construction line. So this line will help me build the rest of my image. So I'm going to label this construction line to make sure that the examiner doesn't think that it belongs to any other part of the diagram, construction line. And this just allows me to know where my other rays will refract through, uh, where the focus will be, and it also gives me a line from which I can then base my emerging rays, because they will emerge from this lens parallel to this construction line. So I'm now going to draw on a couple more rays entering this objective lens. I'm just going to measure a centimetre above and below my initial ray, and I'm going to do that over here as well. This will allow me to make sure that the rays meeting this objective lens or going into this objective lens are parallel initially to my first ray. And again, I'm going to put some arrowheads on these just to show the direction of travel. But these two rays, when they meet my objective lens, they will refract. They will change direction. And they will be refracted so that they come to a focus here at the focal length of this objective lens. So I'm going to have my rays deviate, refract through this lens, converge at this common principal foci here. Like that. And again, I may put arrowheads on here just to show that this is the direction. So now I've got my three rays, three non-axial rays there. They are refracting or not in the case of the central ray through the objective lens. They're coming to a focus here. They are forming an intermediate image. And now, now all I need to do is draw them emerging from this eyepiece lens. Because this telescope is in normal adjustment, these three rays are going to emerge parallel to each other and also importantly, parallel to this construction line that I drew earlier. So I'm going to get my ruler out and I'm gonna measure how far they are from the construction line. And this is two, uh, two centimeters, 2.2 and 2.4 centimeters. I'm just gonna make those same measurements over here. So I've got two centimeters, 2.2 centimeters uh, and 2.4 centimeters. I can now then just join the dots on these So I've got my three parallel rays emerging, and again, because they change direction through that lens, I'm just going to draw an arrowhead on this. And so that's my diagram complete. I'll just check it again, make sure I've got everything that needs to be on there. I can see my rays are emerging parallel. They're coming to a focus here at the point perpendicular to the shared foci. And I've got my central ray moving undeviated through my objective lens. There, I'm happy with that diagram. Now this is an important one to practice. Fewer than a quarter of students get all three marks for this, for this particular diagram. And you know that you will get at least one diagram in your paper, so it's worth practicing this one. Check out my other videos to find out how to draw some of the other diagrams that you may see in this astrophysics topic. Thank you.